Welcome back. There's a new version of Agent 0, 0 0.8.1, and that's right, it can now use a web browser on its own. Before I jump into the updates, let me say a big thanks to our sponsors on GitHub. Agent 0 doesn't generate any profit, it's my hobby, so it's great to see that there are people out there in the community willing to contribute to this project financially. Thank you very much for that. The easiest way to install and run Agent Zero is with Docker. You can pull the official image and run it with the web port open. Or if you're unfamiliar with Docker in the terminal, you can use Docker Desktop. And you can watch my previous video for that. So for the browser itself, you can now task Agent Zero with something that requires web crawling or web browser use. I told Agent Zero go to Agent Zero GitHub and find the latest release. Agent Zero will delegate the task to the browser agent, which is like a subordinate agent, but it's not based on Agent Zero. It is based on browser use framework. More on that later. You can see that the browser agent periodically reports its progress, and it's also showing you a screenshot updated in real time. So it's done. It has found the latest release is 0.8.1. And just like with subordinate agents, the context of the browser agent is still alive, so I can follow up telling it find the oldest release. Okay, and let's watch it in real time. As you can see, the browser use framework always highlights all interactive elements on the page. So the agent knows what it can click or cannot. It can use vision or it doesn't need to use vision. It's optional. And it was able to go to the next page of releases, scroll down to the bottom, find the oldest release and report back. You can find the browser agent setting in the setting section with the web browser model. Right now, I am using GPT-40 from OpenAI. I use it without vision. If you enable vision, the agent will be able to use these screenshots with the bounding boxes highlighted. So it will help the agent orient on the web page. But it's not mandatory. It consumes less tokens without vision. But the quality may be worse. The framework that is used for the browser agent is browser use. It's a great project on GitHub. Definitely go check it out and give it a star. It's very easy to implement. It was 100% compatible with Agent Zero. It's compatible with LangChain models. So if your application uses LangChain model interfaces, you can just plug this in and play. It's a really cool project, and just last week I was in touch with Magnus, one of the developers behind this project, and we were discussing some potential future updates, so I'm definitely eager for more updates by these guys. It will only get better from now on. The browser agent is the big feature of this release, but there are some more quality of life improvements. For example, attachment handlings and text editor. You can now upload files and say, for example, compress, or you can merge PDF documents, you can combine images into PDFs, etc. And what you can see now is that there is a path recognition implemented into the UI. So whenever a Linux path is outputted, it will be broken down into folders in the file. So you can download the file just by clicking on it. And you can also open the integrated file browser in any of the parent files, folders, sorry, in the path. This makes working with files with Agent Zero a very smooth experience. You can now use Agent Zero to convert files from one format to another. If you don't have the utility, you don't want to search online, or if your data is sensitive, Agent Zero will use code to work with the files, so you don't have to worry about OpenAI having access to your files if you just need to compress them or sort them, convert them. And it also makes it much easier to 
get your hands on files generated by agent zero if it generates code for you it's very easy to tell it like zip the whole folder for me just click it and it's being downloaded as always thanks for watching and big thanks to all the contributors and sponsors if you want to join our community all the links will be in the description and see you next time